What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Thanks for joining me here. Not really that famous today. Um, not really that famous any day, really. Today I had my buddy Zach on, who I, it's been a really long time since I talked with him. Um, it's actually Zad who uh, had, had, had kind of convinced him to come on, and, and uh, we, we had so much fun, um, as usual. Talked about Zach's journey uh, uh, through to, to become a Marine, kind of fulfill his lifelong goal. Uh, today I had some audio issues. I, I'm still trying to work it all out. I, I'm thinking about investing in some better microphones. Um, the ones I've got are, can do the job, but I just I feel like they're a little bit lacking, and I've kind of been fighting with them. Um, so I, I went with the cheaper version. Uh, you, you live and you learn. You know, it, it is what it is. Uh, but I, I hope it's good enough. I, I spent some time editing, uh, make it make it listenable for you guys. Um, uh, so, but we had we had a bunch of fun. Uh, big shout out to everyone involved once again, and I um, uh, hope you guys think we're funny. Uh, so we'll get to it here. Thanks for listening, and we're live. Sweet. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you. It's got my uh, my buddy Zad on stats uh, once What's again, up, guys? and uh, my buddy Zach, who I have. Gosh, it's been so long, dude. I, I really I think the last time I seen you was like at the bar one time. <laughs> and like i don't really remember rem- remember yeah because <laughs> yeah. we were you know drinking and all that good stuff so Sounds um, about right. it, it yeah. feels like forever since i've like actually had a conversation with you <laughs> quarantines will do that uh, yeah, dude, that's true true that true yeah, that um point. been super hard um you know trying to get people to get to get together and do this so super appreciate you being here dude uh we're gonna have so much it. fun thank you for having me um so I'll uh, we'll just jump right into it. I always like to ask everybody, uh, all my new guests, the same question. Uh, what, when you were little, what did you like want to be when you grew up? Oh. And if there's a few of them, you know, we all have the classic like a uh, athlete or you know what, a rock star, or... rock star dude. Through yeah. And through. <laughs> yeah, rock, yeah, you were a rock star mm. through and through. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, so scary. what, you know, what aside from from that, or was that it? Uh, r- <clears throat> Actor, <laughs> actor, oh. right up there in that same genre. Yeah. yeah, me too, man. Me too. That's funny. I, I always, I always wanted to be an actor when I was a little kid. I thought, I, I thought I'd be good at it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, you know, it, it's good for the time being. What, what's funny is those dreams die short very soon. You know, <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, they, they disappeared very quickly uh, after high school. For yeah. Sure. We, we've talked a lot about on the on the podcast of just like how, what kind of opportunities you opportunities you have based on where you live right so like uh you know for us uh zad did you ever want to be an actor when you were a kid? no i don't i don't, I don't think i would <laughs> no that was never that. Your dude thing. i smile so much when i can't fake it like, <laughs> you, you i'm pretty much take me for face value oh um, i'm lying i'm smiling so. we uh, oh, shit, i gotta turn myself down a little bit I feel like i'm red mining um i wanted to be an actor too and if we were in say california you know or even some somewhere west like that or even closer to new york not even in those places but like near them mm. the opportunities that that would have been around us would have been so different and you might not think that way you're like oh those those dreams die soon like people like us where we live and just where we're from we're not really that famous we're not even associated really with a famous area or anything like that right. so it's like you, you don't you, you don't hang on to those dreams for very long well yeah i think it's- especially depending on where you live and the opportunities that you have like you said <clears throat> us being where we are in michigan no we really don't have uh, those kind of opportunities presenting themselves yeah. there's just not a whole lot of options it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's a, a realistic possibility yeah. whereas i feel like if you were someone else you somewhere else you'd be looking at a, a wealth of opportunities mm. and so it would feel far different yeah right yeah right if that makes sense yeah it does that's kind of a weird thought the dream just lasts longer like yeah, yeah it just it's a longer, longer sustainability yeah, yeah it feels that. feels a little more real mm-hmm. yeah and especially too with who say. you know yeah i don't think that's, there's that's huge. a that's whole huge. lot of people in michigan uh that could really give you those chances yeah. uh in terms of big hollywood yeah. production and, and acting just you know like, exactly you know. what i'm saying like the temp agencies around here we call them temp agencies right mm-hmm. staffing agencies is that the, the proper term uh, I would think so. Uh, I I <laughs> I actually part Zed, took what's and the, like that. What's the average salary of it? Let's say an actor in Michigan versus an actor in California. Let's see what see what see what comes up on that. I'll oh, see. I, don't, I hope I, I'm going to try to edit out all the clicking in the background. Yeah, because all you're going to hear is Zed typing away. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. I like it. Um, but but 
it, it, it's just it's such a different landscape when you talk about these staffing agencies and stuff mm. right you scroll if you're like job searching for example you scroll past a lot of them um they're often hiring the same types of things mm. manufacturing factory work things around here whereas in in different places those those opportunities are like b-list actors and extras and not necessarily right. b-list actors i guess but uh, you know what i mean yeah yeah well, it's like the same thing but depending on where you are you see a vastly different landscape Mm. As far as the differences salary wise goes, a Michigan shows for a for a man, and there's a weird statistic in here that kind of throws me a little bit, but it says for a man, um, thirty eight thousand to about eighty one thousand for mm, like okay, actor yeah. performer yeah, in makes Michigan, sense. Was big, and big, in yeah. California it says forty two to ninety one, so like about ten thousand oh, wow. dollar difference. Yeah, I mean, you, I guess you got to take into the fact that not. Every actor, yeah, making there's not a lot of. I thought the successful ones would, right. would severely skew that skew number, skew it, yeah, for sure. Um, but then so for uh, an actress on this, the same website, which is pay scale, I don't pay scale, and they're saying that actresses make more, which it kind of flips that, flips that, uh, like, did you think, it, did you think it would be the other way? Yeah, I absolutely. I mean, just across any other industry, I feel like in the world. Um, as far as I've heard, mm, men typically make most, more than mostly. Women. I think there's definitely a few exceptions. Right, right. Um, acting, I would definitely agree that a woman would be higher paid because right. the roles probably de- demand so much more. And I, I don't, I don't know. It just seems like it would be um a model. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of it. It. I I would not have expected that. I was kind of thinking that would be. I did, I wouldn't think that there'd be a massive difference, but it's it's pretty substantial at least as far as pay scale is concerned. Mm. I think in today's world, <clears throat> when it comes down to something like that, in, in terms of, like you said, modeling and everything, um, there, I think there is a higher demand for actresses. Right. Um, you know, they... Yeah, the, I, I, would, I would agree. They, they have it's more a much spotlight, tougher. <clears throat> yeah. I think, you know, yeah. because you look at any of the bigger movies, the, the big lead roles now are female. You want you want a lot of them a, now. A lot yeah. of them. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying all of them. Obviously, you know, you look at your big superhero movies and everything. I like guess that. more so in you the know, past. Yeah, more, I, a lot more. That's why we can tell. I feel like people want to see attractive women a hell of a lot more yeah. than what you're going to want to see. You know, some absolutely some do. That's not always the case. You know, who's a Who's the one guy from Aquaman? He's obviously a, a Chase Momoa. There you go. Chase yeah, you know, he's he's, he's a, a big hit. Yeah. But you know, again, I think there's a, a higher demand of wanting to see uh, more attractive females than than anything now, especially in today's world. There always, yeah. You know, like, n- not in all cases. It's gonna win but. every time you go. If you search any any photo, YouTube video, any you search mm-hmm. anything, anything at oh, all. Or the clickbait. The, you know, the, the half naked chick. It's the half naked you know, women. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you, absolutely. Pick, you pick the half naked women for your yeah. thumbnail and it always, they sell. They're going to sell. They, they, they're they're they going to deliver results every time. Well, you know, sex sells. That's, that's that yep. saying is put in place for a reason because yeah. it is true. It's it, the truth. It is. That every is time. True. Never fails. Um, God, I, I think I need to get a little closer. I feel a little clear, crispier now. On my mic. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, we're still in the process of upgrading our audio. Um, that night. Oh, oh, we're we're finally back in the spot. Yeah, that's right. We're yeah, we in had the to take booth a today. Siesta from it for a little while. Yeah, Zach, how do you like it, man? Is it is it? It's pretty. Uh, love it. First so, time here, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> looks great. Yeah, I don't have much to go off over com- to compare it to, but I love it. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna and we're gonna yeah, we're gonna get some posters and stuff. We're yeah. gonna freshen this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah, decor yeah, yeah. is is yeah. severely lacking yeah. right now. Um, Maybe a couch. But, that doesn't work very good hey, social you know, distancing wise right now. But you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, every, well, eventually, we we'll go to couch. Everything big started somewhere. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. And we're yeah. starting in uh, Zad's basement. <laughs> there it is. But we got big plans for this place. It's exactly. gonna be dope. Yeah, yeah. Dope as um, and we're really excited because it's like just the perfect spot for this. Like the, the sound's pretty good. But we're we're working on our audio. It's our equipment's really limited right now. That's the main thing. Um, audio equipment is expensive. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, I'm making do with with what we got. Um, I think I've plugged them before. We're using Sure microphones. Um, I'm not even sure what my microphone is. It's kind of an unbranded one that I got off of Amazon. Uh, but it works. It works pretty good. And then uh, I have a Behringer audio interface. Um, and I'm not even sure who made my. I think it's a Behringer uh, mic preamp as well. Um, so we can all hear each other. We got the headphones and everything. I like uh, it's weird when you're the first time you're in the headphones and you hear mm-hmm. yourself talk. Yeah, for you're sure. Su- you're I'm, like, well, I'm catching on to is that. that what I sound like? 
Mm. What the fuck? This is so I weird. do not have a voice for radio, that's for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> I do not. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, you're all right, man. Uh, I don't think I never so. know. No, I'm not feeling it. No, <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. You know, no. It just sounds, it's not that it's not good. It's just, it sounds different to you because you're actually hearing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? no, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's, it's yeah. got a different sound. Yeah, for sure. It, it's just so strange. It threw strange. me off, too. It still yep. does. Um, um, wait, any, what else did you want to be when you were a little man? Oh, God. <clears throat> Uh, uh, <clears throat> like what was you know more of a realistic one I, other than you know those fantasy aspiration types of things yeah yeah no i i wanted i wanted a career uh out of military um yeah, yeah that's yeah, true yeah. Oh, i remember, remember that, that man. yeah you want to join the military that, yeah. i marine. i wanted to be a marine so badly so badly um i put everything i had into it and that was that was my biggest aspiration, and, and I wanted to do that so bad. Um, unfortunately, the so the run did not work out. Uh, it was it was a so before before what why? Uh, eyesight <clears throat> actually. No no no. Uh, why why did you want to be a marine so bad? I well, <laughs> a couple of reasons. Um, I I guess especially being an eighteen year old kid, uh, I. I always, always love this country so very much. Um, of course, back then I didn't know as much as I know now. But isn't it? It's uh, weird how uh, yeah, looking naive back, you are when yeah, you're young, man. Yeah, um, such a crazy thing. It, it, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, but I still, even if I could go back now, I would still, even though I know it wouldn't work out, um, I'd still give it another try. Just to do it because I, I enjoyed everything. So you mean uh, like the enroll, the yeah, joining yeah, up yeah, process? Yeah, going through the whole process. Um, so how signing up how and, how far in did you uh, like did you get? Uh, <clears throat> so when I signed up, uh, <laughs> I ended up taking the ASVAP twice. I went out to Lansing, and uh, the first time I failed it. You know, and, mm. and for Marines, you That's only the, need the you only need thirty two, right? Yeah, right. ASVAB. Yeah. So what 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 does that consist of? Uh, it is a, I know a lot of people know this already. I, a, I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, a, basically a big ass high school test. Okay. It's like it a, is. it's like an actual written it's, test. Yeah. You, yeah. Or like you an have exam. Math, science. Everything. Okay. Okay. You know, that's, okay. that's all it is. And for each, uh, branch, you have to get a certain, uh, score to qualify for that branch. Uh, Marines were 32, um, I think, I think Marines, maybe army. As well. What's like the sure. maximum score? Uh, well, to be in the Air Force, you got to have a 55. Zed, Zed, look him up. Look yeah, him I'm up. on it, bro. 99 <laughs> is the highest score. 99, 99 is, yeah. so it's out of 99. Yeah. yeah. What's the, do, do you have the criteria, the tiers? Uh, yeah, I'm working on it right here. So. I failed the first time. It was horrible. Dude, uh, it made me feel dumber and shit. Bro, but, bro, know. I think that they're, like, dependent on the type of person that you are. Whoops. My pop filter's all getting jacked up. Depending yeah. on the type of person you are. When I, I, I went and took my uh, state licensing exam or to and sell insurance, yeah. um, and I failed it the first time, and I was literally just, like, destroyed because I had, I, I had, I had spent, like, a couple of weeks. I had to go to a class, and I was working at a, um, an insurance agency, and I went and I put all this work, and I was studying, and I went and I failed. Mm. By, I, I failed by one question. No mm. shit. It's like mm. pass or fail. 80% failed at like 79 or 78%. Yeah. And I was like just destroyed. I was so fucking sad. And, and then it's like you can go take it again. Mm. And so it, when you pass the second time, did that feel just like amazing and relieving? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and the thing was, too, I ended up getting help. I had a tutor. That nice, I ended yeah. Up, I ended up meeting her um, at Tim Hortons. It was like three times a week. And she was training to be a teacher. And so I got a lot of help from her. And so that second time that I took it um, and I ended up passing you know, much better than what I had originally done the first time, mm-hmm. uh, not only did it feel good to pass, but it, it felt good for her as well, knowing that, you know, she was able to significantly increase my score. So it was a bonus for both of us. Were you tutoring for that specific test? Uh, well, again, or just like a general mm, sort of subject tutor. Uh, well, I, I lacked severely in, of course, math. Not a math guy. Not <clears throat> no, a math guy. no, God. Some no. people just do their, your brain works differently. So it, uh, yeah. it's just, 
I'm like, history and science. I'm math, so not, good at math, bro. I'm so good at math. And mm. I, I don't really try, and I never really wanted to be, but I was just always good at it. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it fucking sucked, man. I hated math. Oh, I still don't hate math. Yeah. I can do basic math. I can add, subtract, divide. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some division, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I hated math so much that uh, in one of my math classes, the, the girl that sat in front of me literally would, like, as like, do you want to copy mine? And I was like, no, it's fuck. I'll <laughs> uh, just take the F. <laughs> no, no, you know what? I don't want to bring you down. Yeah. So just, just yeah. you're good. Thank I'm good. You, just let me sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had to take um when I was getting my associates, I had to take uh like college algebra or something. And I've mm-hmm. I've taken this class before. It was the most ridiculously hard fucking thing I've yeah, ever I would, done. I man. I it was I so hard. And my life was so hard. I'm all right without me. I ended up passing. I got like a B minus, which isn't that bad. But I was, I really tried to get like really good grades. And I got so fucking hard. I got those scores pulled up here. So, yeah. So, what you got? Army, uh, Army Marines, it says 31. 31. Um, And it says these scores are subject to change without notice at any given time, basically. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they Um, hold all. all Navy 35. um, Air Force. 36. And what? I thought it used to be I 55. Know. I, I know. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was 32 for the Marines uh, and the Army back then. I don't know. Maybe it's changed. Maybe well, I that, just can't it remember. Does. It does. It literally, yeah, bro, nine there's years literally ago, an asterisk at the bottom that says these scores are subject to change without notice. Oh, well, there you go. And then <laughs> the highest the highest is saying Coast Guard. Coast Guard says 45. I wow. know. That's what I said, too. I, like, I bet because the Coast Guard um, being nautical in nature, mm-hmm. it requires a lot of maybe like math and science to kind of. Just yeah. to rely on in a dangerous situation, you have to be like, able to like find someone and rescue from being lost and stuff. I would assume. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe, I although well, I, I maybe guess like more responsibilities than just being thrown down on. I think it's just generally, yeah. generally like a <laughs> right. harder practice. That's yeah. in general. Well, you know what I mean? Coast, it's from a from a technical standpoint. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. It just it that definitely surprised me. Fuck. Uh, that yeah, sorry. We all we all redlining in this fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, hard because uh, when you're um, when it's you got the phones on and stuff it, it's hard not to talk over each other but it's also kind of reminds you because it gets so fucking loud you're like oh shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um so the coast guard is the maximum with 45 that that was the highest like what required else does this minimum test score? have any other uses other than the military yeah do they like apply uh if they apply it anywhere why, why is they, it out of 99 show of intelligence maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. why really? is it out of 99 if you only need a 45 max <laughs> that's a good question um, so, so Zach, when you were, uh, you know, what did you do after you had passed the test? Uh, so <clears throat> after that, then so out in Lansing, you're doing your MEPS, your military enlistment program, the rest of it. Um, you spend an entire day out there, which I actually, I personally had a great time, uh, cause you, everybody gets together. Um, you stay at the hotel and then it's a whole day of literally just getting tested. For all different kinds of stuff. Um, and I don't mean like STD tests, something like that. Well, actually, you do get tested for that as well. But, you know, you get your eyes checked. Uh, you get your your body. You go okay. through all these. Uh, just a general evaluation. They're, they're, Probably yeah, some psych evaluation. Uh, all types of different stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I did great on everything. Except for, like I said, uh, they found out I was pretty much blind as a bat. <clears throat> mm. Which, you know, because at the time, I was, I was wearing my glasses. And because I wear hard lens, permagas, rigid gla- uh, contacts, and they're, they're, they're not glass contacts, but they're damn near glass contacts. And so they those, suck. this is some advanced glass te- yes. contact yes. technology? Um, they last anywhere from you know, six to seven years. Just mm. these one pair of contacts. You know, and nice. they're like $300 a piece. I was going to say, are they really expensive? They're, they're, yeah, expensive for me, for sure. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I, I wear those and my recruiters didn't know that. Mm. I mean, they knew that I had glasses, but they thought everything was fine. Uh, and so did I, but I failed miserably <clears throat> at that. And so what ended up happening was, um, I ended up going in for LASIK surgery and I got denied that. I got they denied, denied that. the LASIK. Yeah. I got denied LASIK because, uh, my astigmatism was too high. Mm. And so bear in mind too, while I was trying to go in for these different surgeries, uh, we were doing what, what it was called warrior training, stuff like that. And it was for weeks on end, you would go out 
every other day, something like this, you'd meet up with all the other recruits and, you know, you would stay and do training stuff just like pre training and everything. And mm-hmm. I did that for a while while I was trying to get a surgery done. And after I was denied LASIK, uh, I ended up going down, I think it was down to Adrian, down South Michigan. And I tried getting a surgery called ICL, which is implanted contact lenses. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that was... yeah. They literally make an incision and put contacts into your eye. <clears throat> and I was denied that as well because my cornea was too thin. So, I mean, this, all this went on, it, it, it drug out for a span, a year and a half. I, rem- I remember you doing that. Yeah, yeah, you're probably I going, that, you're going like doctor to doctor oh, and yeah. like waiting in waiting rooms and yeah. fucking it over and over again. Long process. And it, like I said, during that whole time though, I was still getting out and, and doing different kind of training programs, stuff like that. Just preparing just to you, prepare like, you. Yeah. To be and ready I to go it. in the day. But so yeah. essentially, essentially you had, you had to correct this before you could go further in that program. Correct. Right? Correct. And it, because where we are, I, they told us where I, uh, recruited, um, I think they would, they send our portion of Michigan to San Diego and not Paris Island because it, it's, it's weird how they do that where they send certain it's people. It's just the zoning. And yeah. Stuff. The zone, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I guess at the time it really didn't matter to me. I actually just wanted to get out and explore the right. world as it was, you know. So you're 18 at this at this point. You're 18, 19 years I, old. Yeah. 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 So and it, but I got denied everything, and there was absolutely nothing they could do, and that was it. it <clears throat> my whole dream and career was just shot. That's what that's so, what I wanted so bad. So you couldn't get into the Marines. Correct. Or you couldn't get into <clears throat> any branch of military? Any branch, because actually what ended really? up happening, yeah, I ended up getting, uh, I got PDQ'd, permanently disqualified, because I kept trying and trying for fixing my eyesight and everything, and it just never happened. And yeah, I got, I got PDQ'd, and because I even ended up trying, I was like, well, fuck it, I'll just, maybe I'll go to uh, Army. Maybe I'll try the Army. Maybe I'll so try, you got you completely... Know. Uh, oh, yeah, there, there was nothing. Wow, man. So nothing. what's your, um, you know, it, what's your eyesight? Shit. Like, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty excuse pissed me. poor. Yeah. Um, what, um... Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, you got me. That's Sorry. Sorry. Those. Um, bad. You know, do you have... Isn't it, you know, it's out of 2020 or whatever, do you have, like, some sort of number like that? Um, you know, God. Are I, you nearsighted, farsighted? Do you, do you know? In, like, common terms? Someone who, because I know Zad wears glasses, he probably knows a little bit. I, I, I have no idea. I just had an eye exam earlier today, actually. <laughs> How'd that turn out for you? This morning. How'd you it do? Was, I, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. I have pretty bad eyesight too. Not, I'm not on Zach's level. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> really reassuring, buddy. I appreciate but, it. But, uh, but no, my, mine's pretty bad too. Um, I did, she said that with my glass, she didn't give me my number. Mm. She just kind of. Oh, well, they don't me, even. No, no, it's not like talked about um yeah. as far as like it's weird doctors don't aren't um they're not we i've talked about this on the podcast uh, we 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 talk a lot about how doctors i feel like aren't really held um accountable for the treatment that they give mm-hmm. it, that's like a and i don't mean to bash on doctors by any means that's kind of a general general term mm-hmm. but oftentimes um whenever you you know doctors kind of give you i feel like you get what you ask for a lot yeah no you know, if you go to the emergency room saying that something's hurting well i mean if you go on the internet and try to find something you're gonna find it <laughs> if right. you search for something on the internet you're, you're you're probably gonna find it more than likely i can tell you what so you kind of you, you you so so ask and you shall receive type of thing that's true i i can't tell you what uh kind of irked the hell out of me is i go into to the office and um everybody who listens knows that i've, I've been working through this whole thing so as we have patients that come in we Central take their workers. temperature yeah Right. Um, so we, we take the patient's temperature when they come in. I always read the temperature back to them to like let them know that. So I, I walk in. Oh, dude, that's the such guy, a nice practice. I, you know, I do that. From so time the guy to time gives me well. the, the guy takes my temp and then he's like, OK, go ahead and fill this out. And I was like, what the hell was my temp? Like, I just wanted to know, like, it just irked. <laughs> my good, bro. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I knew I was good, but. I just want to know, like, <laughs> what was it? And so I asked so, him, I was like, <laughs> what was my temp? And he's like, 80, 80, <laughs> none of your business, 98.4 <laughs> or something like that. But it was, it was just like, it was just like a kind of like a weird exchange, like of eye glaring at each other. Like, like, tell me the temperature. I need to know this. Like, you can't just 
take my temperature. Like that's personal that information. Me. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah, funny. no, it, yeah, it was kind of, it just got, I was like, what the hell, bro? That's funny. So yeah, you gotta tell me what my temp is. So it's, it's crazy because Zach, you've been working, um, throughout this whole process as well. Correct. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, yeah. you know, I, I've been working, Zad's been working and I know a lot of people aren't working. Mm-hmm. Um, it's crazy actually how many people I know that, that really are out of work right now. Yeah. Millions. But literally, as, <laughs> literally yeah. as essential workers, um, you know, how is, how has this affected you really? Um, I'm <clears throat> tired of hearing the saying essential workers <clears throat> can't, can't stand it anymore because I, I, I feel like it, it classifies people now. It like, definitely is. Like, you know, yeah, oh, you're essential. Like okay. You're thing. important. You're, you're, you're a uh, hero. That's, that's another one we're hearing a lot of. Yeah. Is hero. hero. Is kinda... And I just, you know, I've just, I think had, I've heard enough of all that. And yeah. I don't like people being classified like that. You know, because then you're non-essential people. What right. is it like? What fuck them? Right. Like, they ain't, like they're not important or something. You know, yeah. I just I it's it's kind of ridiculous. I think at this point, uh, maybe months ago it was it was okay, fine, mm-hmm. but it's being drug on a little too long. Well, we were we were trying to flatten the curve, right? No, right, of course, and we curve, did that. Yeah. We did yeah. that, and so even now, like if an epidemic breaks out, we're we're vastly prepared. I guarantee, you know, I don't guarantee it, but you know, the hospital, like yeah, a lot of hospitals, on a, lot of, a lot of hospitals aren't full. Um, mm-hmm. there's, mm-hmm. there's lots of open, you know, open rooms and such. And we have a lot of the PPE now we started making it and all that good stuff. And it was just like that initial big boom. Mm-hmm. But, um, I don't know. I don't really, I, don't, I never have faith in people that much. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. So I, I, I could very well see, um, you know, if you end it, shit just go south mm. and then we're like oh mm. fuck yeah <laughs> so mm. i i like the approach better safe than sorry no absolutely you know it's a good thing to live by um but you know again i think once it starts to get drug out a little too long then i think you are going to start to lose a lot of faith in people mm-hmm. because you start to see a lot of shit that starts to happen and it is not uh good by any means yeah you know i <clears throat> The whole situation in general, uh, this, this is a little out of control. This whole situation really um, <laughs> hasn't affected me a whole lot. Mm. Um, so like I, I've said before, I work for Amazon now. I've been working, um, and I've, I feel I'm, you know, they're very good about compensating. Every, this is my, I, have to, I do have to express this as my personal opinion and not the reflection of Amazon. <laughs> 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 that, that's in the contract I signed. <laughs> but... Um, you know, I, I, I feel like we're all, you know, pretty well compensated and everything. And there's like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's approached from uh, a really good, um, with like a plan. You know, mm-hmm. they have, they, we have the people and everything so that things aren't really stressful. Right. <clears throat> um, but what about you? Like, has your work life been extremely stressful um, <laughs> due to like lack of, you know, preparedness <clears throat> and, and, and things like that? Um, yeah. In terms of, preparedness and all that not quite what's really i think impacted me the most and alongside so many other people that i work with is actually uh the people in terms of their behavior mental behavior this is it's taken such a, a mental impact on so many of my coworkers that oh it's, your actual coworkers okay yeah that the attitudes and the behavior is i'm not going to say like straight up out of line but it's changed everybody's thought process. And so that right there alone has like, really, um, it's no, in, I was just, in what way does it affect their attitude? Like I just, a lot of like really, in a negative positive or a for positive the most way? part, or for is the it most not part, there's a lot of negativity because people are so yeah, stressed yeah, out. Yeah. 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 People, yeah, okay, people yep. um, you know, like with, with the schools being shut down. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to think a lot of people not going to work. People are now having to watch their kids nonstop staying at their house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it actually, it's kind of crazy because one thing you don't hear about is like suicide rates and all that. Mm-hmm. That shit is going up. Yeah. And that so is it was like I've heard domestic, domestic violence. violence. Oh, yeah, fuck. All that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the people that <laughs> essential workers, um, they're going through a lot of this shit and it's impacting them. And I think it impacts their job, our job that we work. 
Yeah. Mentally. So I'm not saying that's everybody. I'm just saying that's certain people. Yeah. So when you have like me, for example, um, <laughs> now do you, you, you what do you, what do you exactly do you do again? So like what what is your you know if if you don't mind sharing you don't absolutely have uh, to. engineer and by that I mean custodial engineer <laughs> yeah that's what um, I thought no that's what I thought I can't I couldn't remember if you had um stayed in in that field because weren't you yeah, weren't well, you dabbling in like graphic design and yeah stuff too? fuck dude I went to that liberal arts school yeah, for a you while went, you I went to a lib arts school I bro. did it's crazy how I, was I that? went there and I came out a conservative I don't know <laughs> it was, it's weird how it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely went into a left wing school and came out right wing. I don't know. It, it lo- blows my mind too. Trust yeah, me. that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, and then the school got shut down. But whatever, you know. It, I I did that for a little while. I dabbled in it. Um, did not pursue any more on that. Oh yeah, okay. So you didn't. You didn't. Uh, no. Did you just I, not like it? No, I. You know, at first I went in for all the wrong reasons. Again, um, <laughs> this is. At, Coming off the end of your... Yeah, yeah. I, I did that. It was a couple of years after the whole military thing. Mm-hmm. And that military thing really fucked me up um, mm-hmm. mentally. And oh, it, yeah, it dude. That's horrible. probably... Uh, yeah, did not like that. Hard to, hard to cope. Yeah, it was. It was. A lot of work. Mm-hmm. A lot of work. Uh, mm-hmm. um, kind of destroyed. So, you know, I, I went to the school for uh, graphic design. You know, and it, a lot of it was uh, digital photography. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. At from all. uh, from like an um, like a a work type of standpoint, like like what yeah. you actually had to do to to make this a real thing. Yeah, you know, a viable I, career. Yeah, yeah. Again, um, especially with my partying days and all that, <laughs> right. I I did not give a fuck, and I went in for all the wrong reasons. Um, and by that I mean, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to do magazines. Um, taking pictures of just beautiful women and just, you know, <laughs> yeah. that, that whole scene is what I wanted to do. And again, I, it was definitely for the wrong reasons. Um, I admit that I, I see that now. Um, <clears throat> no, that's okay. It, you, you, know, live, it, though, you live and sure. you learn. It, yeah, yeah. You live and you learn. And let me tell you, uh, even though I kind of regret going there, I, man, I have gotten life lessons from going there. I met some people that, made a huge impact on my life. Mm. Um, not many, but a couple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, it, you know, I'm glad it happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad it happened. And uh, I, I, I do cherish that. I really do. I we're, mean, it's all, it's all about experiences. Where you, uh, really we're talking about, uh, just to circle back to this, talk about the, the stress that the situation that we're going mm. through has mm. caused on people. <clears throat> um, I work at a dentist office, and um, people have been busting their fucking teeth from the stress oh, i would I, mm. oh in really? the past yes absolutely i Holy would say fuck, in the past stress a common uh symptom of stress is you know grinding your teeth you know mm-hmm. clenching mm-hmm. and um i would say we have probably two or three people come in each day with uh shattered a shattered tooth holy from crap, dude. from just and it's it's you know not obviously not their fault but a lot of it takes place at night you know you you're autonomous at that point and and most people yeah are just breaking their teeth i'm dude i'm that's ridiculous man. the numbers have shot up and so but so, that, yeah, so that's just another like asp or like another view of, of what he's saying like mm-hmm. you can clearly see the stress in people. yeah and, and i and i can too i i can too absolutely mm-hmm. um Going back to Zach, it, with with being in charge of like, um, you know, cleaning, cleaning, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's so so important right now. Mm-hmm. Um, now do you um do you you run like a crew of people? Uh, well, I'm not like a supervisor or anything, but yeah, I fuck, I run them. Well, for yeah, sure. haven't you before? <laughs> yeah, I tell though? them what to do here. And yeah, there, well, yeah, yeah. Know? Haven't you? Like, I don't, you know, haven't you in the past? Yeah, um, you, you were supervising you, for a while. I, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, something I, went down, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, we I don't. Was, I think I remember that story. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but there were good times too. Yeah, yeah for sure. But so, was. um, I, I was, I was, I encourage anytime I work anywhere, I'm always like, look, you, you ain't got to be someone's supervisor to tell people what to do. Right. <laughs> I don't right. care who you are. I'm gonna tell you what to do. Yeah. If I know, you know, what the right thing is. Yeah. But um. Uh, so, so uh, on that front, it, 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 do you, 
Are, are you guys, are you in like a pretty big operation right now? Or is it the rather smallish? It's a big facility. Um, yeah, yeah. So the facility that we work at, or I work at, um, I believe it's actually the second second largest uh, nursing home in Michigan in terms of how many residents it holds. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first one is uh, Sterling Heights, I think. And then where we are, we're the second largest. So I think we have 200, 209, 210 residents. And just your have. one, like the one physical location just you work in at. That facility. So, dude, yeah. that's, that's a, you know, a big facility. It, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you guys have like such a fucking important job right now, and it's so important that you not be stressed, and, you know? Actually, <laughs> because it's, people that are stressed cut corners, yeah, yeah. And yeah. actually, it's crazy, uh, to hear you say that because it you would be surprised. Never do we say housekeepers, custodians, we hardly ever hear any kind of uh recognition, recognition towards us, we, we, we just don't so important like we have um you know we're we're, i'm in like a big giant delivery station Mm -hmm. and we literally have people cleaning facilities and surfaces like 12 times a day and a lot of them are every you know what 15 or 20 minutes or whatever it has to be um and so like and and i see a lot of people that are just like not really caring Mm -hmm. and so it's it's like oh so hard you guys are so fucking important right now really Um, need you know no absolutely um, absolutely how yeah how has that been with this process mm. like on your you know the job specifically I, <clears throat> well, would you, you know, say your responsibilities have like doubled or tripled in size mm, no i say that because i i'm not gonna say that i just don't care i do care i care very much mm. i care for the people that uh i look after and care for the, you know the residents in yeah general. yeah of, of course, course. But it hasn't changed my my uh, how I work, mm. how it, I do things. I just do it the same as what I did before because realistically, what you were what difference doing, am I going to do? You were already you know? doing the right thing, <clears throat> yeah. right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you know. You, this is the process. We know this is you know whatever, some whatever scientifically accurate, <laughs> mm. right? Yes, yes. I uh, yeah yeah so yeah I, I don't I haven't really changed much in my work ethic or nothing like that. Although you know. It, Again, the words essential workers and heroes get thrown around a lot, and your nurses, because that's, that's who I work by. I, I work alongside the nurses mm-hmm. and whatnot. And, you know, even they, a lot of them, they look at it, and they're getting tired of hearing it. You know, because realistically, what they're doing is the job that they love. Always that been, is their and career. it's always That been is what job. they love yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they love to care for people and look after people. And that's that's what they have chosen, and I give them all the appreciation in the world. That even they'll tell you, like, you know, eh, this is getting kind of carried away, getting kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not um, Batman or Superman. Depends like on we're that. we're in rural <coughs> Michigan as well. You know, yeah, it's such a va- yeah. even going back to what I was saying with job opportunities. It's such a vastly different world where you, where you live. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, when I was I, I was in the city recently, and I was there for like an extended period of time, and a lot of people. Uh, they eat out every mm-hmm. single meal of every single day oh, yeah. and they use yeah. DoorDash to have it delivered yeah, to them. Yeah. That just blows my mind. Dude, yeah, it's that, crazy, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. Whereas we, we come from this mentality of like, you know, you got to, you cook from home and that's how you, you know, you do it. And so that's the right way, I guess this right. is, you know, it's the kind of the proper way to do things. Like eating out is more of a, a treat. A treat. Yeah. yeah. And when you do it a lot, you kind of have you, like a guilty conscience about it. Like, mm-hmm. oh man, I shouldn't be eating out so much. But uh, yeah, dude, it's just such a different world depending mm-hmm. on where you live. Mm. Mm-hmm. Personally, it's expensive to me. I'm cheap as hell. So yeah, I'm cheap as hell too. That's my biggest problem. You know, I try to be cheap. Well, you ain't got to worry about it right now because <laughs> yeah. that shit is shut down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, <laughs> that's okay, bro. Um, we're, all, we're all beginners. <laughs> yeah, yes. We need, to get, we need to get like a dope, uh, some, some solid table desk type of setup. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll... Um, um, we'll build it in. I want to get the booms that come down. From yeah, the when you get some man. booms in that, here, bro, that's what I want. it's gonna be sick. I know. It's gonna be sick. Uh, so Zach, what you been up to in quarantine, bro? Fuck quarantining. <laughs> quarantine. Like, like, yeah, what you watching? Uh, I, what you playing watching? piano? Yeah, you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, that surprised me. You were just crushing that yeah. piano out there. Yeah, no, I well, there's a piano at 
the facility. Bro, I just got rid of a piano in my house. So, okay, I had a piano in my house. Yeah. Okay. It was there when we bought the house. Mm. This some bitch had to be how 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 I don't know, man. Those things are fucking Bro, heavy. That thing was seven hundred pounds, yeah. eight hundred pounds. Yeah, it was know. heavy. Yeah. So fucking heavy. Just that one plate that we lifted and carried out. There was so four of us. I said, mm-hmm. there's and that no, shit was heavy. There's like, no yeah. possible way we're gonna get this piano out of here, and I don't want it anymore. It, it was it was a working piano, but it was yeah. really beat up. Yeah. Um, and we just never really played it. We had it for like three years, and we played it a handful of times, but no one ever really learned to play or anything. So I'm like, all right, we're gonna get rid of this thing. Mm. Um, and I've told people to like come and get it. You want a piano? Anybody who wants a piano, yeah, come right. get it. I got a free piano. You can. <laughs> yeah. So we go to take this piano apart. Yeah, well, I fucking. I I got a piano given to me last summer, uh, because again there was a piano at the facility and I started practicing on it, and somebody seen that I was slowly getting better, so they uh called me up one day and said, hey. Um, I just put money down on a piano from, uh, was it Salvation Army? All you gotta do is go pick it up. It's yours. Oh, so, that was cool. Yeah, that was super cool. Yeah, it, it was very nice. Uh, so me and my dad, we went so and got what it. what kind of piano? Oh God, it's a, uh, it's called a Wurlitzer. Was it like, um, it's pronounced. look it up. It's, it's not yeah, a grand but, piano, oh. um, but it's a, it's a half, I'm not gonna say a half piano, like it's about half the size of a grand piano. I don't okay. know the specific. So, so it was um, it anything. like sat. It was. It didn't sit up a high above your head while you were playing it. it? Uh, no, it's a, it's no, a pretty I mean, good size it's, piano, it's, man. It's pretty big. And let me tell you, yeah, when you say like six, seven hundred pounds on that piano you were talking about, is that what yeah, you're talking no, about? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah, me and my dad <laughs> put that in our house, <clears throat> bro. The two of us, and it was hell. Fucking it was monsters, hell. man. Yeah, horrible. But it was totally worth it, though. Shout out know. to Zach's dad. Yeah, yeah no shit. <laughs> Brett, it's been so long, man. Yeah, yeah. I was. How's he doing? Good, good. He's uh, actually they just Absolutely. got back to work because he does construction. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> yep. And uh, Whitmore just allowed some of that job opportunity to open back up. So yeah, I think what, a week ago, week and a half ago, or something like that. Got so he just work. got back to work. Nice. Um, good stuff. Yeah, but at his age, he wants to retire. You know. Yeah. And and having that little bit of uh, a feel of being of what off, it's like, yeah. yeah, what it's like. Yeah, he's he's definitely ready for retirement now. Especially your dad. He's a sportsman. He's an outdoors guy. Mm-hmm. He's a you, you guys garden and and grow yeah. all your own food and all that stuff. So oh, I, yeah. so he had more time for that. I'm sure that he probably mm-hmm. dug that. Yeah, yeah, you know, he did. He did. Actually, yeah, we even uh, been digging a fucking pond. We've he's been like, doing lit- it all, you know? he's <laughs> like, he literally dug it. Mm-hmm. Dude, That's, I yep. <laughs> pretty much. So how how old's your dad now? Uh, he'll be. F- 56 this October. 56. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. That's such a scary thought because um, do you know if he has like a 401k? Is that what he's? Uh, yeah, he's got a pension and everything. Oh, okay. he, well, he works for the union. This stuff uh, might be safe. <coughs> safe and well, sound. Well, you know, Depending. hopefully. I mean, you, you never know how things are going to go. Yeah. But yeah, he, he's, he's pretty set for mm-hmm. the most part. Good. You Hope. Know, so. um, that I would just be so scared for... You know, my, my future to be wrapped up in some bullshit like what happened when all the markets crashed and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but <clears throat> uh, fuck, I was going to circle back to something and I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, oh, oh, what, what, yeah, what, what you got? Didn't you have a report? My, this, uh, the story? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if, if we want to jump into this right now. So, okay. So uh, this is Zach's first time at my new house we just moved in this january and um it's his the first time him i'm pretty sure your daughter has a crush on him just saying <laughs> so okay so this is zach's first time seeing um mike's daughter in like you know a couple of years or whatever um and so i walk upstairs uh leaving the studio and um what does she say essentially i'm going to kind of paraphrase a little bit for her <laughs> but she explained to me that Zach should marry my wife, Rachel, and that me and Rachel are just really good friends, and that she thinks that Zach and Rachel should get married. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How old is she, by the way? So that was Alice. That's Alice. Okay. Yes, that's Alice. Yeah. yeah. Alice is um. She's, she's a free about, spirit, bro. She's about the most yeah. characteristic character. Yeah. You yeah. Sounds you like it. It cracked me up. <laughs> she's she just life. like it's easy. It's just you know. Did you just that's how it should be rachel should rachel should just marry him oh, there's you guys are just oh. good friends you yeah she's at that friends. point right now where she's like 
she wants to marry me. Um, <laughs> she just wants to marry someone. Yeah. She's always marrying people. She's gonna marry the princes and the shows and, um, but see, so yeah, there's a new, there's a someone here, and she's like, who? Wait, who's that person paired up with? Oh, so she's <laughs> trying to ma- match. Yeah, so she explained like that that they they look more alike, and that um, <laughs> that me and Rachel are just good friends, That's... and that Zach and Rachel should get married. And then I said. I, f- I forgot what my response was, and then she said, you're not part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And basically kicked me out of the room. So yeah, was, yeah, that's, uh, that's my children. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna that was set funny. The, that I'm going to set my kids up one day, man. Or Actually, dude, me, me and Zad, uh, we should get so fun here. That would be so yeah, funny, dude. So we could, yeah. good, good time to talk to. Um, <laughs> that's so funny, man. <laughs> took me by surprise. <laughs> she just yeah. so, but so Zach, what, what you been doing in quarantine, man? Yeah, you been what do you have you been watching anything? You been gaming? Mm, yeah, a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit. What, what, what uh, you been doing? So I actually just got the PS4. Um, oh God, several months ago, and before that, good timing. I yeah, I. <laughs> I haven't had a game console in about seven years. Uh, I had an no Xbox shit, 360 man. about seven years ago, and I gave it to your brother. Yeah. Um, gave him the games. It. Yeah, I, I just did away with it. I didn't want anything to do with the games anymore. Mm. And then... They can, they can be such time suckers. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, and I, you know what? I caved in, and I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll get a PS4. All my friends have a PS4. What did so. you cave in for? Um, no, I, I guess nothing in particular. Uh, mm. I just, I, cause I had just finally got the internet. And right. so I thought it'd just be cool to kind of talk to people and, you know, just my friends that, and play games with them, which mm-hmm. I, you know, yeah. again, I haven't done that. So I figured oh, I'll try it out. Some of the best times are gaming with everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's funny too, because the games that I originally bought, uh, with it when I first bought it was, uh, Grand Theft Auto and, uh, How's that Western one? Red Dead. Red, Red Dead. Dead. Yeah. I bought both of those. Yep. I installed them. Never played them. Yeah. You know, it just it just never happened. Either. I didn't like Red Dead. I. You know what? Neither did I. Like I said, I I watched um, Luke play mm-hmm. some of it, and like I said, I installed it, but I never played it myself because I watched a bunch of it and mm-hmm. just didn't. I just didn't feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. watching that game. I like. I, oh yeah, it was definitely entertaining. My wife went out of town a while back. I went over to my brother's house and I just watched him play video games for like two or three hours. Like I didn't even play. I yeah. just I just sat on the couch, drank a couple Zach, beers, tilt your mic up just and uh, just like that. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, and then just yeah, pretty much drink a couple beers and watch him play video games. Mm. Yeah. No, I mean, it, I I will say though, it came with um, God of War, <clears throat> God of War. The fourth one. The new one. The newer one. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, I got I actually got pretty sucked into that. Oh, bro, that's such and a good game. And that was game. the first game that I started playing. Such a good playing. fucking game. Yeah. Since, I, I really like the story. I didn't. I wasn't into a lot of the side stuff or anything, but I really like the story. I, you know, and it's crazy, too, because seven years ago, they, they had the first three God of Wars, which I did play. Oh, yeah. Loved Played them. Played the fuck out of some <clears> God Absolutely of War, loved them. Um, so I was really skeptical. Like, how the fuck, dude? He, he literally just killed everybody. And he like, was dead. all the fucking gods and, and he everything. he killed all the gods and he died. Yeah. This you know. is so well done, though. Yeah. And you can tell that it's a complete... Have you ever... You, you haven't played it. I didn't play any of the God of Wars. You never played any God of Wars. No, no. Yeah. It's, it, it's good. It's, it's such good. a different perspective that it mm-hmm. works. Like, mm-hmm. and it's so... Oh, man. And oh, bro. So how far did you get in it? Oh, I beat it. I beat how it. How <laughs> about that fucking moment when he pulls out the blades? Um, oh, yeah. Well... Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, well, you play majority of it at the beginning well the first half whatever with the axe and you're like oh, yeah that's pretty fucking gnarly but yeah when you finally get up to that point where he brings out the uh, chaos blades or whatever yeah the blades oh. of chaos oh yeah. that's what they're called it's, i don't give a fuck who you are it's Dude, pretty sentimental it's at that so time good. when you're like they oh, literally bro so eye. i guess we we probably should have said like spoiler alert but yeah i guess I, you just dropped I, it's, a bomb it's, it's been out for a long time it has, so it's got a war I, I feel like it's kind of warranted yeah the, the blades i mean that's Every God of War game has, that's what he is. And if you haven't beat it that far, that's on you. So (laughs) they literally make you, bro, you're like pretty far in the game and they make you like slow walk and boat all the way back to the beginning to Kratos' cabin. Mm. And you walk in and like the music's all intense as fuck and you're like boating through this cave and you're hearing voices. It's like Athena and Mm. Zeus 
and uh, and this whole time you've been like with the gods of uh, Norse mythology. Mm-hmm. Um, like Balder is the bad guy in that game, and uh, it's just so crazy. And you get back and you fucking pull out the blades from all the first games. And you're like, what? Which I believe Balder is Zeus or uh, Thor's brother. Thor, I think. I think it's his brother. Oh yeah, I think I think you might be right. Yeah, I'm, I could I think be, might be wrong, right. but I'm pretty sure it's like his brother or something. Yeah, because in the, yeah, all the son of Odin, and son Frigg. of Odin, yep, so, and Frigg. yeah, yep, yep, yep. yeah, pretty gnarly. Yeah, it's such a good game, though, man. Very good. I will say though, um, <clears throat> a little bit of a a disappointment in terms of big, powerful enemies, mm-hmm. monsters, because you know, again, the, you, the battling was vastly different. Yeah, I mean, well. Enemy wise, because you're kind of used to killing fucking Giant titans shit. and yeah. gods, you know, there just wasn't anything that really appealed in yeah. terms of badass bosses. Yeah, I it reminds me. Um, right now, I'm playing The Witcher. You ever mm, played Witcher I, Three? I have not. Okay, but I've seen a lot of it. Yeah, it's a uh, um, it's very similar, very similar to God of War. <laughs> um, well, I, 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 I sunk it. a lot of hours into that so far. I believe it. <laughs> uh, I think Luke talked about that a lot, uh, but. Yeah, well, and the other thing, too, with that God of War is uh, the way he walked. It reminded me a lot of uh, like Resident Evil or something. Just that style. Yep, yep, very you know similar. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, it's like uh, the over-the-shoulder type mm-hmm. of thing. You, like, click and it's just a, a very familiar feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And do you, uh, do you read? Do you read at all? <laughs> yeah, I, I read. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I like to read. What, uh, do you, can you read? I, <laughs> I can do, read my Do you know too. how to read? <laughs> No, like, uh, <laughs> is there any, like, good book book series uh, that you're into? Um, no, I like, <laughs> what kind I of? like history books. Oh, okay. I, I love my history books. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm, so I'm really into, uh, like, like, fantasy type mm-hmm. of settings. That's, that's my gig. I'm fucking Dungeons and Dragons, magic and evil, um, all that type of shit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> have, have you ever seen the Percy Jackson movie? Oh, dude, Percy Jackson, such a good set of books. There's a Netflix, uh, I think it's Netflix. Oh, no, it might, it might be something else. Don't hold me up. Is that what you find out? Yeah. Percy Jackson um, um, series, uh, uh, um, season, or what the fuck am I trying to say? I got you. Don't worry about it. TV show, <laughs> TV show. That's what I meant to say. Jesus Christ. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. That's mm. what it is. Boom. Um, it, it is owned by Disney. Jesus, I should have known that. But uh, bro, it's about uh, like Greek gods and um, um, their children. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Percy Jackson's the son of Poseidon. It's like a they're like children's books. It's like a children's series, but uh, or, I don't know, maybe like a teen series. Mm. But uh, I read the shit out of all of them. It's such a cool fucking story and mythology. Mm. Um, but they're making a fucking TV show. Mm. What do you get? You got Netflix? I recently got Netflix. Yes. What What you getting down on? Um, well, it's more of a late night throw a movie on type of deal. Mm, okay. Um, uh, okay. I will say. Are you not a, t- a series watcher? N- not yet. Mm. I don't, I'm going to say not yet. He's oh, fresh you to Netflix, I'm, dude. I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, let, within need, the month. I need yeah. to recommend a few to you that are amazing. And they're only 20 uh, minute watches. Yeah. They're only 20 minute watches. So you can okay. knock yeah, one no, out. The only 20 minute watches when you watch one. but you Yeah, that's what I mean. You, like you watch one, then you watch six, and you're yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. But you can even pick and choose. Uh, it's called Netflix The Mind Explained and Netflix Explained. The Mind Explained is an offshoot, but it's the best one. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a bunch of them, bro. They got uh, ones about, like, I can't even, just all kinds of shit. They have ones about diamonds mm. that it, like, talks about how the De Beers family um, basically controls the flow of diamonds on the globe mm. to keep the price uh, high. That was an and interesting how show. The, the mythology of diamonds um, dates back so far ago. And, like, basically, you know, the idea of a woman needing a diamond ring um, mm. that's worth X amount of dollars or whatever, like the big, you know, the kind of cliche that you need a big engagement yeah, ring yeah. is all a plant <clears throat> from this company that controls the, the, the flow of ring. diamonds. Yeah, it's, it's uh, what, what do they call it? Propaganda? Mm-hmm. Just propaganda. They, you know, sounds about right. You know, they just, <clears throat> over the years, and that's kind of they tried several different ploys of, of how they, um, you know, tried to get women to have their, a second diamond ring that they needed for, uh, um, you know, a signification of when they become women of status or just mm. random shit like that, bro. It's such a good fucking watch, though. It sounds pretty interesting. Netflix explained. 
Yeah, probably a lot better than uh, I will say. Me and my girlfriend watched <laughs> fucking Tiger King. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I don't know why Tiger I watched King. it, but we did. Tiger, Tiger we King, did. Yeah. you know, because there was such a hype about it. Yeah. Dude, like, I did the same thing, and I was so disappointed. Oh my god! I, so you, were, was, <laughs> I was not control. disappointed with it at all. I hated it. Uh, you didn't like it? Oh, oh, it was man. so stupid, man. It was stupid, but it is cool though. I I really think that girl fucking um covered her husband in yeah. sardine yeah. oil. I see. I didn't. I didn't like. I just liked looking into like the insanity of it. That's what blew my mind. That's what kept me interested in it. Is just the the, the situation. You know, and if you actually look into like all the stuff like after the fa- like after the fact like that. Obviously, it's a documentary, and not all they, of the facts they come fiat, through. The atrocity. The, yeah, the, they they focus in on certain things. Yeah. Dr- dramatize. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And then, like, so they focus in on some things and leave other things out, and that's fine because that's that's just part of what you do mm-hmm. with any documentary. Yeah. But yeah. like the actual the things that took place, and um, I think one of the jury members came out and said that they didn't convict. Um, whatever his name was on the the first attempted murder where he paid whatever it was mm-hmm. that, that guy, but he tried again, and that was where the conviction came from, and that's why he's in prison now. Oh, okay. So like all, but all that stuff wasn't touched out on time. Like in that, you know, they they were trying to lead a very specific line, and mm-hmm. I, I, it's just crazy. Um, something to do with killing his tigers too. I think he got charged for something. Like yeah, that. I mean, yeah, there was a huge thing. There was a bunch killing of animals shit inhumane. That, that I mean, he was, he's a, He's a, he's a piece of work. A whole list of stuff. Well, yeah, dude, it, it was just so ridiculously over mm-hmm. the top. You know how many? Uh, there was like a bunch of people that were also making documentaries about it that all came out. Mm-hmm. I seen like a bunch of tweets and a couple of videos and of all these different people. They're like, I mm-hmm. talked to this guy and said this, and I talked to what's his name Jeff and said this and the other guy. And I was just like, man, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the the most nice. the most interesting thing about Tiger King to me was that Joe Exotic ran for governor and, and got 20% mm-hmm. of the votes. Mm-hmm. What the mm-hmm. fuck? Yep. <laughs> Dude. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. When I say I have no faith in people, mm-hmm. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Because there are always some. There, you ever, oh, dude, there's a funny. I watched a funny Flat Earth documentary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Flat my Earth. goodness Good gracious, man. You talk uh, you about. Know what? St- I love listening to people talk about it, though. I think it's very interesting to listen to people talk about it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit and argue and fight with them. I have my beliefs and they have theirs. <laughs> yeah. That's but it true. is fun listening. So, and, I, dude, I watched a whole documentary on it. It's like an hour long. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I was talking to a buddy about this the other day. You know what would, be, what would be so shitty is if one day they come out with it and say, well, you know what? Fucking Earth is flat. It really is. Guys, Do you know what kind of fucking hate we really they would up. have? <laughs> Those flat earthers would be like, I fucking told you, uh, I fucking knew it, <laughs> you know. So, so, okay, I gotta, I get into this now. <laughs> Do you believe in UFOs? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, I because well, have you UFO, se- UFO? That's unidentified flying object. So basically, anything that you see that you don't know okay. what it is, okay, yeah, that's a UFO. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. 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 <laughs> so, so do you remember the raid on Area 51? Oh, yeah, 1948 Roswell? Yeah, I remember that. Do you remember the raid that was going to happen a couple years ago? Was oh, it last year? you're talking about the, the raid. I'm bit, talking about yeah. the Kyles in the desert, man. Yeah, That's Kyles what I'm talking about. Yeah, what happened with that? I don't <laughs> so, okay, you, you want to, okay. <laughs> Got another documentary for you. Very it's good. called Bob Lazar, uh, UFOs and Flying Saucers. Mm. Um, so, there's this guy, Bob Lazar. He worked at one of the... Um, um, he worked at the, was S4 in Nevada, uh, this military base under this top secret project. And this dude came out uh, with this a long time ago, like in the 80s. Um, and he kind of got ousted by the government and like erased for a while. Mm. And then so this documentary came out uh, like a couple of years ago. And Bob Lazar went on the Joe Rogan show nice. and talked about all of his experiences for three hours. And bro, when you listen to this guy talk, if you should listen to the Joe Rogan show with him because yeah. when you listen to him talk, you're like, Holy fuck, this guy is legitimate. <laughs> and dude, he talks about um, basically these flying saucers. And there's a bunch of videos that the government released about him mm. um, recently that are very, very similar to the ones that he worked on and shit. Dude, it's, 
I could dive down a rabbit hole on fucking UFOs, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> well, you... I was on a kick for a long time. Yeah. I think there's no denying all the patterns that, that emerge. And this is all, like, mainstream knowledge. Now. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the way that I look at it is realistically, okay, our planet Earth, we have life. Right? right. You know that. Galaxies upon galaxies upon universes we know exist. So to say that we're the only planet, right. the only place with life, yeah, I, I think it's so far-fetched and so ridiculous. Yeah. You know, because there's no way. There's no way out of all these galaxies, all these universes, we are the only one with life. No, I just, I refuse to believe that. So, yeah, aliens. I, I personally... Uh, <clears throat> never seen a real alien as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm sure that maybe I have. I don't know. I've been to a lot of weird places, a lot of weird cities. And let me tell you, you dude, know, didn't you go to Australia? I wanted to go to Australia. Oh, okay. And that was like Australia. my dream place to go uh, for certain reasons. Uh, you know, but so Zach I, ever disappears. We know where he went. Yeah. 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 And I never went. I never went. I wanted to <laughs> so bad. <clears throat> I, I mean, I've been to. Louisiana's pretty sweet. Obviously, <laughs> when I went and stayed down there, well, mm. we were in Mississippi, but going to New Orleans mm. or New Orleans, as it oh, you you there. were you were in the you went down there with Miguel. Yes, yeah, Miguel yes, was on the down podcast there for a while. <clears throat> yeah, Miguel, it was Miguel, great. He wanted to be a bull rider when he was yeah, growing up. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't. It was, it, a lot of that that segment of my life was uh, kind of blurry. There was a lot more drinking and whatnot going on. Yeah. And New, New Orleans oh, yeah. is I mean, you're just, down, you're it down was in New out Orleans. of control. Zed, look up, uh, uh, I, want, I want to circle back to this because I forgot. What's the salary of a U.S. Marine? I always, I, I, I always want to know how much, how much everybody makes. Mm. $50,388 a year on average. Um, ranges from 25000 to $102,000. Mm. Hundred and two thousand dollars to fucking. Depends on your position. Yeah, uh, that's uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's different job titles. Yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. The, the 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 the. I just mean the rough average. That's, yeah, the, uh, the average is the fifty. Severely underutilized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was I was I was thinking about this um the other day, so as I said earlier, you know, as far as how the Amazon station goes with COVID and everything like that, when you know we have a screening process, everyone has to go through. We have we have lots of measures in place to make it so that we can work. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, you have to you have to make sure that um you're doing all these things um um you know because because safety is like number one concern basically. That's Amazon's really big on safety. Um, but we um you know we 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 do all these things, but they're talking. They had to close schools down, right? Mm-hmm. They had to close schools down. Um, and it's just I I feel that they're, they're talking about um. Are you you're talking about these big businesses that are open and all that stuff? I'd, how is it that some essential businesses can make this work, but others can't? And a lot of like n- ones that we need, like I don't know, schools, for example. Why is it that we can't have a fucking school staffed properly enough to actually maybe have have school somewhat? Like we could have smaller classrooms and things like that. You can make things work, but um, we have like a severe under it's underfunded. Uh, not underfunded in money, it's underfunded in resources in general. Mm. Like as far as support from the government, money itself, uh, so you support from the community, all those types of things. So, like it's totally doable mm. to, uh, to do those things. But like, but, you know, like, so like a company, for example, and a lot of big giant companies are, you know, still operating and not really taking the big hit. Um, I, again, I don't have faith in people because <laughs> these are all built by people. Like these, are, these things are all built by people. How is it that people can build something that is a company and can still function, but we can't build something. The government's built by people too. You know what I mean? Well, suppose we are Doesn't that make no fucking sense? <clears throat> Doesn't make no fucking sense to me. That tells you where our um, loyalties lie mm. when it really, really comes down to it. We would rather, you know, basic human nature is to like support things that are easy. So what you're saying is why can certain companies of this size operate safely? And why can yeah, other yeah. what you would feel are more essential companies not operate? Yeah. Think of the school as a company, yeah. right? That's what. That's right. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Why? And why is it that we've built it like this? Because you got that many people in your workplace, and you're still doing it yeah. safely. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I can mm, uh, definitely see what you're saying. Doesn't that make everything no fucking sense? Everything boils down to the money in general. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah, it boils exactly. down. That's what it is. And that's what I. That's what I mean when I say we. That's where our loyalties lie, mm-hmm. because the money actually boils down to the way we've built the country mm. to lie with those entities and not money. the really essential things that we need. Mm. Mm, well, yeah. I, I mean, think that's like a, 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 big, big, fuck up. <laughs> right there that's that, uh, that yeah, doesn't make no you, damn sense <laughs> well you know again money it, this majority is how it of the world's problems yeah it, again it always everything boils down to it. and that's what it always revolves around and yeah. it's very unfortunate and it's done a lot of good it's done a lot of bad I think it's majority done a lot of bad for uh, sure and, and it's it, it, like from from like a small business uh like standpoint versus like the large businesses that are open. The large businesses have those resources and the people and the things, mm. the money, um, you know, to make, to be able to do the things, but a lot of small businesses don't. Mm-hmm. And so they, mm-hmm. they can't and they won't and they'll still operate and that makes them unsafe. And I think that's why they have to be closed. No matter how bad it sucks. That's kind of how the generalization boils it down to. Mm. Well, as y- you can trust like a large entity like that, almost for sake of sheer liability to uh to make sure things are right does that make sense it does it does uh, i mean you know <clears throat> and once again people built all these things yeah <laughs> well and it's crazy too because you look at some of the the what was there two stimulus packages that came out oh yeah yep. and you know you always hear about oh uh loans and whatnot for the to keep the small businesses running but you know you get on facebook or you get on some kind of social media and what you're seeing is a lot of local small towns or just small businesses mm-hmm. shutting down permanently. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where the fuck did this, this, these stimulus packages other than $1,200 per person, want, which was real where, impressive. You can ask where they went. You want to know where they went? I'm going to tell you. So my TV broke, right? Mm-hmm. And I had to buy a new one. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, okay. fucking TV broke in quarantine. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that shit. Uh, BT dubs. I got a 4k TV. Haven't been able to use it yet. Cause I fucking bought it. And well, uh, I'm gonna circle back because I th- I had to buy I bought it on Amazon, but I ended up going out and trying to find one. Mm. And um, but I haven't been able to mount it because it doesn't fit my fucking wall mount. So I gotta get mm. a new wall mount. Don't you hate when that happens? Son of a bitch. Yeah. But so right, I go out, I go to try to buy I had a TV. No idea all this happened to you. This is terrible. This yes, terrible. yes, it's terrible. Bro. <laughs> is this, Jesus. Bro, bro. Jesus Christ! Oh, Zad's like a wall mount fucking Dude, expert. That's why he's so I don't concerned. believe in well, not wait a wall mounting. Wait a second. A wait a second. Oh. You need help with wall mount? Yeah, I got all this. <laughs> I got my kit. It, I got a kit specifically to to for it. Oh yeah, no, that's the tits up mountain TVs, bro. Okay. Um, right. so I go to buy a TV. Nowhere, not one fucking place had a TV. Not Target, not Meyer, not Walmart, not Best Buy. The TV. All they didn't have a TV. The t- Well, oh, excuse me. They had fifty-five inch TVs at Best Buy, uh, or 50, 60 inch TVs at Best Buy, mm. but they had none. Uh, well, the, excuse me. Meyer had one 24 inch TV. Oh, okay. I wanted a I now. wanted a 30 to 40 <laughs> inch. I ended up getting a 43. is a little bigger than I really wanted because for my bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had an old Samsung 720, so it's literally going to be what's 4,000 minus 700 uh, 20. <laughs> wait, what is when, when, 3,300 pixels when, difference? This mm-hmm. always happened during quarantine. Yes, dude, you should have talked to me. There is a 40 <laughs> inch TV in my laundry room. Well, well, I wanted one. I, I, throw it in the truck. It was time to <laughs> throw it in the truck. It's right out in the driveway. It was time to you know get one anyways. Um, I've been wanting to get a yeah. 4K anyways. So yeah. it's not. I don't think it's 4K. Yeah, I want to get like a 4K. Yeah. So uh, and it just broke. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get a 4K. So I go around looking for 4Ks. Nowhere fucking has them. Nowhere, bro. It's like a fucking wasteland. Everybody and whenever you go, so for it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, you want to tell TVs. you exactly where those stimulus packages mm-hmm. fucking went. Yep. Absolutely. They went to the goddamn Sony Toshiba TCL. Yeah, that doesn't stimulate America's economy. I don't know if people know that. But. And LG, that is where the TV, uh, that is where the stimulus packages went. Yeah, I think a lot of it went there. And anywhere I went, I asked them, hey, y'all got any TVs in the back? Because I was just like, well, maybe just they took a lot of stuff off the shelves just because of COVID. They don't, they don't want, want people, people touching right. stuff. And mm-hmm. no, they had no motherfucking TVs <laughs> anywhere. So I went to Amazon. I ordered one. It took two weeks to get here. Well, a week and a half. And then your wall mount didn't fit it? And then my wall mount ha- didn't I would have had a damn conniption, dude. Bro, I was that so pissed. Horrible. So did yeah. you end up getting this was, a Walmart? Um, or yesterday. Do, do you have... Morning. 
the TV that it didn't fit. I just got here yesterday. So you haven't mounted it yet. TV's not up. No, I got a wall mount order. It's coming on Tuesday. Mm. I'm sorry. What'd you say, Zach? I wasn't listening. I know it's okay. (laughs) You're in my ears, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's all right, buddy. Uh, no. So I just said so. You haven't got it mounted yet. So you just kind of have it chilling, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So right. So I put the legs on. Okay. Ah, yes, the legs. So I put the little legs. Right. Got Mm. TV comes with legs. Go to put it on my. (laughs) Go to put it on my entertainment center. Yeah. It doesn't fit. It don't fit. It's too big. Perfect. That's horrible. So I set it on the ground something. and I turned away and I said, "Okay, I'm done with this." <laughs> oh, nice. and I took the wall mount off the wall and then I just set it to the side. And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna come back to this another day." Do you have a? Is it one of those articulating arm wall? wall yeah, mounts? that's the one yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I got the the, yeah. the swivel arm one. Um, this is for my bedroom. Mm-hmm. In my bedroom is literally wood trimmed. Uh, it's all wood paneling because yeah. <laughs> it was once a hot tub room. Um, and it was like converted into a bedroom at some point and it still has the wood fucking paneling, but so it's really sturdy. Um, I don't even have to bother with wood studs or nothing. So I just drill right into the wall. Boom. Easy. That's a, that's a solid feature. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty ugly, but it's kind of cool, but it's, it's not, it's not ideal. So was the hot tub taken out? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There's no, the uh, just there to clarify. Much. That's it. Cause that'd be a pretty tight room. <laughs> yeah, you no, bed, no, excuse right me. next to your bed is a hot tub. I, I didn't, I don't want to put any fan. No, I do not have a hot tub in my room. Uh, I wish I is had a hot tub in my room. Pretty tight, man. Yeah, I, I do have like the hookups for it and everything, so I would just have to get one and get it upstairs on my second balcony. You guys which, got a hot tub recently, didn't you? No, we were no, going you to. Were gonna? We were going to, but um, we didn't end up. We didn't end up getting it. Didn't do it. No, we got to like TV we got to do some remodeling and stuff. Uh, no, actually, this was that simultaneously. We were, we were oh. thinking about getting a hot tub. It was like a really good deal, <laughs> and uh, my wife really wants a hot tub. So, gotcha. But uh, got to get set up to even put one in. Really, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, I got a big ass tree that I got to cut down in my backyard and it's like f- f- leaning against some power lines, but it's not on the power lines, but I can't cut it down or it's going to fucking fall on the power lines mm-hmm. in my neighbor's yard. So I'm going to have to call someone to cut it down. It sucks. Where are you living at now? Uh, I am out in Howell. <clears throat> oh yeah. You told me that. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Been out there for know, six months now. So are you like, um, downtown or out in the country? Uh, more downtown. <clears throat> so like right, uh, su- suburban area, uh, uh not and suburban nice, area, dude. but I like how, uh, how was okay. I, mean, I used to live right down, uh, right sorry. off of Grand River. You like the, you know that little Mexican restaurant in Howell? You know what's cool about Howell? Uh, I can't even think of the name, bro. I gotta, I'm gonna find out. I don't know, they're all shut down right now. So That's, oh shit. <laughs> Jesus. Most, like, dude, you gotta try this restaurant. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Most you know? of, uh, Howell's infrastructure is underground. There's not a lot of power lines out there. Dude, that really? was the best really? part about my subdivision that when I lived in there. I mm. love that. I yeah. never lost no power. power. Lines, you, you guys were always over at our house. Yep. When you guys would lose power. And never lose power, bro. Hmm. That's why you want to be in like a newly, sort of newly developed mm-hmm. area because they start putting everything underground. That was sick. You ain't got to deal with it. nothing. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's not bad out there. <clears throat> it, <clears throat> well, especially from where we're from. Small village. Yeah, yeah. A lot less yeah. people. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's okay out there. I again, there, there's some. Is that is really, that where you work as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm the majority of my time out there. Mm-hmm. It, it just a lot of people, and I, I I'm not I'm a <laughs> I'm a people person, but I hate people. Like I I can talk to people. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. You right know, I, I I can talk to people. I'm very good at talking to people, but I just do not care really to be around people. <laughs> I guess a whole lot. You know, I'll I'll. Hang out so tolerant, pig, piggybacking off of that, I this this whole quarantine really hasn't affected me a whole lot mm. because I don't really like going places already. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm I'm pretty like solitary person. I just kind of do my own thing, and uh, that's that's it for me. I, I mm. pretty much do the same things all the time. Now I'm doing this, so it was pretty. It was kind of sucky because I couldn't do podcasts with people. Right. That's really the only time it affected me is when I was like, "Man, I want to like hang out with my friends or mm-hmm. play some D and D or do a podcast." Yeah, so and I'm like, "Fuck, this is bullshit." <laughs> but other than that, I, I I don't really do a whole lot, so like I don't really like going out to places that much. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't really affect me. Yeah, I, I I can understand that for sure. Are you like a uh, a uh, 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 you guys still like you know you, you, you you're not single anymore, hey? I, I think you you've had a girlfriend for a while, I think. Uh yeah, I've 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 been with this one 
uh, with her <laughs> for, okay. I don't know, since August. So, I mean, what is okay. that, nine, four, five, nine, nine, nine months, ten months, nine. something like that. Yeah. that. And it's great. Um, I love it. <clears throat> you, I love it. I'm, do you guys just, like to like go out to places, go to the bar, uh, go dance and drink? I don't know. And... It hasn't been open. No, I, <laughs> so I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, before, you know, before no, the yeah, quarantine. No, yeah, no, I know. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we, we, so, you know, we'll, so we'll it's kind of affected and... affected you in that way. Yes and no. I mean, she's kind of like me. Uh, you know, she likes to really kind of keep to herself a little bit, but mm-hmm. she also she also likes to socialize as well because you know, kind of like human nature, we do like to kind of associate ourselves every once in a while, mm-hmm. get some human contact. But um, yeah, it, it really hasn't affected us too much in terms of that because yeah, we don't mind. Yeah, I'm just like a homebody dude. and homebody. Yeah, that, I'm like um, that's that's yeah. what I do. Like I don't yeah. really do a whole lot. Yeah, I'm like a Netflix documentary master. And uh, <laughs> I've been teaching myself how to fucking make podcasts. <laughs> well, there you go. That's good. good so that's, that's what I've been up to. Um, yeah, shit, dude. We do we we're over, we do done an hour fifteen. Mm-hmm. Nice. <coughs> hour Very fifteen. Good. Yeah. Good. Time flies. Um, it when does, uh, man. When you're talking. <laughs> when you're doing your talk. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Um. You know what? Here, look, you, are, you, are you in a rush? Are you in a rush? I am not in a rush. Okay. Cool. No. Um. Do you get a lot of sleep at night? Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. Elaborate. One night, yes. The next night, no. I, Are there it, some dependent match. factors in there? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, no. I, it, it, it really depends because one night... Your indecisiveness tells me no. Yeah, tells me man, you're not getting enough sleep at night, bro. Anymore. <laughs> not as much as I would like. You know? I, we talking I, like six, five hours, seven hours, eight uh, well, hours? It, you know, it varies. It really varies because one night uh, I can get, fuck, I can get 10 hours sleep. Be great. The next night I get one hour of sleep. My, my sleeping schedule is so out of control. That sounds horrible. Is it due to, it, it is, is it due to it your work? Is it, due, is it work related? Um, yes, it's work related and it's just my personal life related because I make a lot okay. of weird decisions throughout the day. And it, it kind of varies. Okay, well, you got you got to tell me. Got to <laughs> leave this, I need, leave just one, just just one. Uh, <clears throat> well, you know, one one day I will. It well, it again, if if I'm off of work, because when I'm at work, I pre-plan what my week is gonna look like, and I'll think of all this kind of crazy stuff that I can do. You know, if I want to go for a walk or something through downtown. Howl or something oh, like okay. that. See what kind of mischief okay. I can get into. Okay. Okay. So work will take up, but then, so on a day off, you know, because I really don't uh, have a whole lot that I can do. So I do a lot of walking, and if I go and I start walking um, anywhere and talk with people that I really don't want to talk to, because again, I don't really care <laughs> to, talk. to talk to a lot of people. You know, and, and me and my girlfriend will do that, but. <sighs> You know, we'll, uh, we will, I don't, I, it just, it, it varies. I don't want to get too <laughs> much in the detail. Man. Like there's, I, I can't get too much <laughs> detail on something okay, okay. like this. Um, you know, <laughs> that's just such a, there, such a strange you know? answer, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, um, it, so it you're t- you said, you said 10 and one. Mm-hmm. One night would be like 10 hours of sleep. So you just catch up on your sleep after, uh, after the week. Or so the weekend. No, it's different every night, man. <laughs> it's just, I, again, it's you He's know, like it's my really, sleep schedule is just jacked up. It is, it is up. fucked with a capital F. Damn. But it's okay. not like a so, super bad thing. So on the same, I'm okay with on it. On the same token, do you do you have a lot of dreams? Yeah, man. Do you remember them? Do you remember a lot of sometimes, dreams? sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes no. But every night is different. <laughs> Obviously, but um, I would assume so. Sometimes it, you're in REM sleep I for like fucking nine night. hours. Yeah, like, bro, your body's yeah. like, we gotta catch the fuck up. Okay, mm-hmm. you're out mm-hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it. Got you know, like I said, uh, it's really hard to elaborate too much in detail uh, for okay. the world. That's okay. I guess. Yeah. Okay. You know okay. What I'm no, that's fine. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. I sleep like the dead. When yeah, I that sleeps like a dead. I lay down. Yeah, I close my eyes. That's it. I'm out, and then I wake up the next day. I don't. I don't remember dreams or anything like that. Uh, 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 how do you? How, do you, are you? Are you eating? Working out? Stuff like that? 
Eating, yes. Working, taking out, care no. of your body. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, mm, I can't anymore. work out, bro. Not anymore. So I one of, one of my things is like, I feel like it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but I feel like it's it's easier for someone who's really famous and stuff. All the people mm. that we constantly look up to and compare ourselves to to mm. to fucking eat good and stuff like that oh, yeah. it's so fucking hard for us to eat not only eat good but work out yeah god damn oh, yeah. i'm so fucking tired mm-hmm. you only wake up at five day, yeah mm-hmm. anybody ever woke up at 4 p.m and fucking or 4 a.m and um worked out ran before your day like oh god you people are sick <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be sleeping at eight o'clock it used to be like that to do. years ago but uh times have changed mm. and don't do that no more you're yeah. probably fucking jacked when you're going to the marines bro <clears throat> Yes and no. I don't know. I, fuck, dude. I'm 18, 19. I, <laughs> In the peak physical condition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, actually, <clears throat> no. Uh, several years ago, probably four or five years ago, um, when I was at the liberal arts school, that's when I took care of my body the most. Mm. And that's when I exercised the most. That's when I ate right. You know, I did the whole nine years. Was all, all your uh, the people around you? The people around doing me. Doing that? Yeah. Yep. You know, there was so much You're motivation. You're such a byproduct of your environment. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, there was certain people. There was only certain yeah. oh, people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, the majority of them were, uh, I'm so, not going to say they were fucked, but they were a little out there. Uh, one, one of my favorite things about working at Amazon mm. is that <clears throat> there are some very hungry people there. Mm. Um, and and they're, um, that, I think that aspect of, of having people around for someone who's like me, like I like to set myself apart. Um, it just makes you like push yourself all the oh, time. Oh yeah, the people you have around. So, you. Mm-hmm. so and I really like that aspect. It's not like a place where, um, and certainly there are those people. There's always these people everywhere, but pe- a place where people are like, oh fuck this place, and yeah. oh fucking hate my job. I'm gonna quit. They want to quit every other day and shit. Whereas mm-hmm. uh, you know a lot of my jobs, that's the type of environment I was in. Oh, yeah. Um, and so it's such a such a cool thing to be around where where people around you are so hungry and pushing you, and you're like, fuck, bro. I got, I got to, I got to get this. I got to get this energy, now. You know, you're yeah. That energy yeah. And of course, like it drags on <clears throat> you sometimes and all that <clears throat> stuff. But <clears throat> I, I, I can honestly say like, that's, that's one of my favorite things about working there. Yeah. You're just like always pumped, ready to go. Well, that's just it. You know, your, your coworkers, the people that you work with, yeah. you know, you, again, you can get that, that energy and that vibe off them. If, yeah. if somebody has a negative energy, yeah, you're going to feel it. And if you spend every day with them, yeah, you're going to probably have a yeah. negative energy yourself. Yeah. You that know, it's, it's saying shit. you spend uh, more time with them than boss. you do with Yeah, your, I was literally just going to say, one of, the, one of the bosses I hated the most <laughs> told mm-hmm. me, you know, these people are like your family. We all need to love each other and stuff. E-L-E. Yeah, everybody, everybody love, love everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But it really is true because you're fucking around those you people seriously all the time. Are, man. It sucks you, with you. I mean, you spend time with your family, it, it, but it, it's no matter what you think, never like, for it, that. it drains on you. Yeah. If you mm-hmm. are around someone, people that are like that, that are negative, and you're like, fuck, oh, it drains on you so bad. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can't help it, but deal well, with it. <clears throat> that's why they say surround yourself with, mm-hmm. you know, positive people because you mm-hmm. will. You get those positive vibes, you know. Yep. It is a real thing. I, I've witnessed that myself. Oh, and, absolutely. You know, it's. It, Something oh, to bear sure. in mind. Food for thought, for sure. For people, yeah. you know, who want to have a good vibe, yeah. surround yourself by good people. You know, if, yeah. if you're going to sit and spend your time with a bunch of, I don't know, druggies, I guess, and negative people, that's how it's going to start to reflect onto you. Mm-hmm. But if you're taking your time to be with people who are very positive and exercise, do yeah. stuff like that, you know, the more time you spend with them, yeah, it's going to start to make you feel motivated. Motivated. To do the yeah, same. there you yeah. go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Otherwise, sure. you'll find yourself an outlier. And mm-hmm. you'll, you would then potentially revert back to yeah. your, your sure. regular surroundings. So. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Um, I, that's why I like doing this fucking podcast, man. It's like, mm-hmm. when, when's the last time you sat down and had a conversation with someone like this? <clears throat> you know, other than like, your, probably not even your significant other. At least three know? months ago. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know. You, you, I don't no, know. I'm not saying you. Sp- I don't know. No, I'm not saying you my, specifically. You right. Know, no, I got you. Yeah. No, just, it's been a while uh, since I have. Yeah, dude, it's such a, in a, oh, we always have so much fun, I feel like. <laughs> it's a good time. And um, we probably wrap her up in some hour 20. Um, we got to do shout outs. So, what the fuck did we talk about today, man? <laughs> so, shout out <laughs> shout to, out to shout out to Zad. Oh, no, yeah, shout, shout out to, to Marines. Marines. Shout out to Marines, first and foremost. Um, shout out to, uh, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to question their criteria a little bit um, because I, I feel exactly what I've done just fine. Um, and mm. you might want to just lower your standards a little bit, guys. But uh, <laughs> like you, know, you don't have to be so stringent. Let's let's measure them on heart, just to, right? Yeah, and just not uh, metrics. Eye exam. Come on. 
you know, some uh, shit. I, I, I was, I, that's Damn what I, I like to preach. You got to, you got to measure on heart, right? <laughs> put it, put it in. <laughs> uh, uh, sh- shout out to Marines. Shout out to um, uh, COVID quarantine as always. Mm. Um, shout out to Netflix once again. Um, Always waiting, comes up, doesn't it? Just waiting for Every you guys time. to reach out to me, and um, you know we can strike up a deal easily. Um, what else did we talk about? Shout out to uh, oh, shout out to all the the sanitize. What, what's your custodial engineers? We'll go with that. Yeah. <clears throat> shout out to all the custodial engineers. engineers out there. Um, you guys are putting in work for us. Um, appreciate y'all. Um, let's see what else we talk about. Shout out to Amazon. Always. Um, do you guys, you guys got any? Oh, um, you, you, everyone can find us, um, um, online, all your various, uh, social media platforms, follow us on Instagram, uh, not really that famous, uh, Facebook, um, what, what else do I got? I think that's all. Um, check out the shit. You, you guys don't want to do any shout outs? Man, all I us on the, social media. I'm, I'm digging some Stella right now too. So yeah, is that, I'm gonna shout out for you, Stella. You, you shout out. You want to shout out the dental office? Uh, of, of, I mean, of course, always. But uh, <laughs> no, no. shout I, out to people, man. People that listen to this. People oh, in general. Yeah. You know, shout damn, out to dude. The world. Jesus, yeah. he's a pro. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I try my best. Right <laughs> um, all right. Well, cool. Stay tuned, uh, man. I, I I really want to get. Um, I got some merch. Uh, we're working on working on some merch. Getting some shirts and probably some hats. Uh, some various things like that. And uh, so I'll hook you up with like a shirt or something uh, when I get them. That'd be great. Um, I want to give them out to all, all the guests that, that, that come on. Um, cool, man. Anything, you, you work, what else are you working on, bro? Are you working on anything else right now? You got a side projects going? Mm, nope. Maybe just taking it one day, day may, by day. Maybe you, know? you should start a podcast, bro. Maybe. Maybe I'll just have to. <laughs> I'll, I'll hook you up. More. I'll hook you up with uh, the the episode and everything. So if you want to listen to it or share it with uh, you know your friends or anything, are you on Facebook? I I do have one of those. You yes. do have. Oh, you're, are you not really? You don't use it. Uh, every couple of weeks I go on. Oh, dude, that's no, I, so fucking awesome. Yeah, you know, bro. Just, I've been trying to like wean myself off because what what happens is I find myself just automatically going there mm-hmm. and spending mm-hmm. exorbitant amounts of time just yeah. scrolling aimlessly yeah and i'm like what the fuck am i doing right now yeah, 15 20 minutes like i like to hear that. from people and everything like that and i like to you know interact and see stuff but um it's just it's such a time consumer oh it is and i'm like fuck yeah. but um yeah so so uh and all of our listeners I've, I've been posting with it um we're gonna run 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 a little uh, uh try to try to try to build build some Rapport with people, there you um, go, run a little good. thing, give out some some cool shit. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Um, it's been fun, bro. Appreciate mm. you coming so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Hell it's been yeah, a great dude. time. It was Appreciate awesome. I mm-hmm. um, hope you had fun. Uh, and I hope everybody thinks this funny. Thanks for funny. Um, and thanks for listening. Uh, this is the Not Really That Famous po- Podcast. Peace out, guys. Yeah. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Fotine. Most people have heard about protein supplements these days. Everyone's all obsessed with what brand they're going to use. It can be really hard to decide, you know, which one is right. Fotine is here to help you out. Fotine is a protein supplement that can help your body restock on all those refined sugars and carbohydrates that you missed out on while you were dieting and eating your whole foods. They, they use all generic ingredients that are artificially created in a lab or contain high fructose corn syrup. If you're sick of hearing about all your friends' protein shakes and breakfast shakes like me, check out Fotine today to up your game. Fotine is served up in many different forms, including breakfast shakes, pies, ice cream, and and all different kinds, um, including that awful chalky powdered stuff that everyone's obsessed with. (laughs) Sign up today uh, at Fotine.com, that's F-A-U-X-T-I-E-N, and use the promo code Fatty to save 25% off your first order. Uh, that's Fatty, F-A-T-T-Y. Uh, visit the website for more info. We're also brought to you by TPMD. Uh, does it ever bother you that we only wipe our butts with paper? If you got some poop on your face, would you just wipe it off with a piece of paper and call it good? If you're like me and you hate having a dirty butthole, then you need to try the new product, TPMD. TPMD will come to your house and be there when you need them most. If you didn't prepare like the rest of the masses for the toilet paper shortage, don't worry. TPMD will be there with a soft, warm, wet wipe right in the the comfort of your own bathroom. They'll perform all those fecal-related duties so you don't have to. (laughs) Duties. I like what they did there. 
Uh, sign up today. Use the promo code BUTTS for 20% off your first month of TPMD. That's BUTTS, B-U-T-T-S. Uh, visit the website, tpmd.com, for more info. Um, and our last sponsor today, brought to you by Milk Me. Uh, my favorite moment of the day, of course, is drinking that delicious milk after my bowl of my favorite cereal. I've often wondered why no one packaged and uh, sold this pure deliciousness. Well, today is that day. Milk Me products are handcrafted and authentic. No artificial sweeteners or additives here. How about that, Fotine? Uh, their milk comes straight from someone else's cereal bowl. Um, sign up today. Use their promo code MILKME. That's M-I-L-K-M-E. Get 40% off your first order of Milk Me. Um, you can check out the website. It's MilkMe.com for more info. Uh, sweet. That is all I got. Uh, thank you to our sponsors. A uh, big thank you to um, all, the, all my guests and the people that have helped me out on the podcast uh, so far. Um, big, big, big thank you to my wife, of course, for uh, uh, dealing with me throughout this process. <laughs> and, um, um, of course, shout out to COVID-19. Uh, without you, I never would have really been stuck in my house long enough to um, put all this together. So uh, thank you guys, and um, see you next time.